Alright, so we back um it's been a while since we done the video. I guess it's basically our first video together, huh? <laughs> so hey. You know, so we're gonna talk about a lot. Um, you know, this is me, you know, our life at Rip channel, myself, my wife Alessandra. So hopefully we're gonna be doing a lot more videos together. You know, right now we're just still getting used to it. You see we just out in our front yard sitting on the tire doing the video. Hopefully we'll be out in the town doing a lot more videos and just doing a lot more great things. Um <clears throat> next week or the week after I'm gonna um actually get more into the to the massage stuff. Um we're gonna do some demonstrations on massage with Alessandra because I know a lot of people been asking. So basically we're gonna start off with the um the upper back dealing with the thoracics probably from T seven all the way up to C one for the most part. So we're gonna be doing a lot of that. Um just more just relaxing, you know, calming the body down. I'm gonna be telling y'all why we're doing the F lodge, why we're doing the friction, why we're doing the kneading, why we're doing the podament, why we're doing the trigger point work, why we're doing the skin rolling, why we're doing the connect tissue massage. I'm gonna be breaking down everything and why it helps with everything. Um we're also going to be talking about the, the scaling because remember I, did, I made the video on part one dealing with the scalings and, and scaling affects a lot of things you know for people with like the the um it could be carpal tunnel um arm problems um golfers tennis frozen shoulder just that just that this that um anterior scaling is right here put the pressure on the brachial plexus right here and, 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 and pick a picture out of mine putting the brachial plexus right um putting the pressure on the brachial plexus on the yeah, with, um Picture out mind can cause loads and loads of issues. So we're gonna talk a lot about that because I wanna give y'all a whole bunch of free tips that can literally save you hundreds or thousands or tens of thousands of dollars, you know. So that's kind of my goal. I wanna be able to get you some simple, good, great informational tips. Um and we may do a video dealing with um um just maybe just the upper part of the chest and simple techniques that the husband and wife should do together because I feel it's a great thing and I really feel that um, spouses, but the husband and wife, girlfriend, girlfriend, boyfriend, boyfriend, kids, parents, parents, kids, I really feel like everybody should be working on each other 15 to 20 minutes, five to six days a week, you know, really every day, it, it doesn't matter, you know, so it's so simple, it's so easy, and it, over time, like the first week, you may not notice anything, but after 21 days, you're going to start noticing great results, after five to six months, your hands are going to be so great lately. You're going to be start taking care of your hands and the electrical resistance is going to be decreasing and the energetic components going to rise in yourself and your partner's self and all different types of things. But um, we're going to talk. Oh, she's going to talk. Yeah, I'm just doing all my talking right now, you know. But uh, I, want to, I want to talk about the fruit feast and I'm going to let Alessandra do some talking. Um, because we don't even know what we're talking about. We just turned it on, but hey, let's make a video. What are we going to talk about? I don't know. You know how I do. I just be going with the flow. I'm going to talk. That's why I love, do I love to talk. So, but I'm gonna let her talk because she's the one that y'all want to hear. She went with all the information. I just be talking half the time, you know, like an entertainer. Although I do got, you know, some some type of cerebral aspects, but I'm just a talk. I love to talk. You know, I just kind of go with the flow. But anyway, um, so the fruit feast were pretty good. Um, I was excited. Um, I finished. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I had to catch the um the um the little stand thing. It flew over. Hey, son. Give me that. <laughs> Stop your face, boy. <laughs> oh yeah, like I said, we're back. But um, so yeah, um, the phone kind of fell off. So that's kind of you know I don't like to be doing. The, I don't like all the editing of my videos. But the phone fell, so I had to kind of edit back in and everything. So my son, um, Kaylin Jr., you know. But um, like I was saying, the fruit feed some. Um, the fruit feed went pretty good. I was very excited with my results. Now I didn't finish it. It was not because I couldn't. It wasn't because I got tired of the fruit. It wasn't because I was struggling. It wasn't because it was too hard or anything like that. I just stopped because of the mind shift that I had. I had the mind shift that the fruit shift is so, 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 so easy. And I feel like for the majority of the summertime, it's going to be months where I just do nothing but fruit. <clears throat> okay, so we back now. Um, oh, man. I, the, yeah, it, the, the phone overheated in the sun. I see... That, that, that's that what you call that fake carbon in, in, in the phone that you can't handle the sun, you know. Can't handle the sun when it overheat yourself like that weak sauce. Um, then the, the baby came, then the phone fell over. I just want to talk about the fruit for yourself like that. So here we go. Um <clears throat> basic so like I said, um during the fruit feast, um um I did the twenty four days about. Um no, I did the twenty fifth the twenty fifth or twenty sixth, I think. 
you know, because I had stopped like five to six days prior prior to it end because not because I, I wanted to stop on my own terms for the most part. I could have kept going, but I just stopped. Not because, you know, I was feeling tired or weak or, or below a little or just all types, you know, all types of crazy things, that, all the excuses you hear a lot of us um, come up with a lot of time. I just stopped because I felt like I succeeded and did what I needed to do, you know, with my mind shift. I had a great mind shift during the fruit feast and my mind is pretty much forever changed. As every time I do a fruit feast, it always forever changes for the most part. So I'm excited. I'm happy. Um, everything went pretty good. Um, I did continue to lift a little bit of weights. Um, I wasn't lifting a lot of weights. I did no more than five to ten minutes a day weight-wise. Um, like, I don't think I did that much doing with the weights and stuff like that. Um, about two to three times a week. I've stayed consistent since. So I, I, I can say like, I'm back lifting weights again. So I'm happy. I'm very excited. Hey, what can I say? You know, so I'm looking for some great results over the next few months. Um, we're gonna get some great results. You know, oh my goodness, because I had a lot. I've done a lot of great, crazy things over this past few weeks and months and stuff that I've kind of added. You know, to um, you know, help better myself, my family, everybody else. So yeah, so the fruit feeds went pretty good. Um, my dreams were man, I got so vivid. And the thing about it is. During the free piece, I think my weight got down to, I don't know if it was 26 or 27. I think it was 27, but it may have been 26. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe 26 and a half. Somewhere in there, but all I know is it's still the same. And I've been eating the cooked meal every single day ever since the fruit feast. Uh, I might have had maybe like three or four days. Maybe like two or three days where I just ate nothing but fruit for the most part. Um, and that's it. Um, but one thing I can say since the fruit feast, um, I fell in love with just lime I, I love my lime now I, lime distilled water and i'm good to go that's, that's what i be drinking you know give me like five six times at a time one cup give me another cup i'm good so i love 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 the limes um i'm feeling pretty good with the limes um, i'm loving it um so yeah so like i said the fruit fits went pretty good i'm um, say pretty active um my goal with the deadlifts was um i think i said 15 reps I got to like 12 reps with the deadlifts and 12 reps with the 45 pound hanging down on me uh, on the pull on the way to pull ups. And with that, remember I do everything on the breath control, so I do no more than I, just, I exhale, inhale, exhale. Then I go I go knock out of rep my reps and things like that. So when I have to breathe, that's when I stop. You see what I'm saying? So that's what I was doing. So that's pretty good, you know, to do. Even I'm just starting back and out working out with a 45. Just think about it. Uh, I got a 45 hanging down from me, and I'm inhaling. I'm not taking. I'm just taking a small inhale, small exhale, and I do reps when I feel like I need to breathe. That's when I stop. And that's when I stop my 12 reps on that. And my 12 reps on that. So I was very happy and very excited about that. Um, I probably could have got to 15, but like I said, I just stopped them um, and things of that nature. So. My piston squat, my piston dips, I did pretty good with that. So I was excited. Um, I feel like I be, I feel like, I feel like my fascia became a lot more hydrated. Not because of the fruits. Well, we did take a lot of pressure off my digestive, let everything just flow a lot more naturally. But I became a lot more cerebral, and things became a lot less effortless because I feel like I had a lot of good blood flow going to my brain for me to be more creative and do more things. You know, so. I think I, I think my, my, my working working with the fashion became a lot more you know effortless and things of that nature. Um, I will say um, on, was it March tenth, March eleventh? I, I, what I like to call it a self um um um, um a self seminar. Yeah, self seminar. I spent like like three days in a row. Like I think about twenty five hours. Just twenty five hours. Just I had like about four or five books out. Just studying the, the feet. And the, um, the feet and the, um, the calves, um, feet, the calves, all the muscles that insert from the, from the calves all right down to the toes. I did a really good job, but I've really been focusing on all my clients. And I've been getting some great results. Like I did take that the medical massage seminar class, dealing with the um, 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 compartment syndrome for the lower legs, and with the calves down to the feet, that's dealing with the um, the um, not sciatica, well, it's pretty much sciatica nerve anyway, but the tibial nerve syndrome, peroneal nerve syndrome, that's like like people like you know, and uh, um, shin splints and you know, tibial nerve, that, um, down that nature, um, the plantar fasciata. So, I did take that that class, I learned a lot, and I was I've been getting great results because I, I understand what I was doing, but I really didn't understand until I picked up that book, and that's kind of what I'm doing over the next 
put in March and this month I'm really really kind of focused on the feet I'm really dissecting the muscle and the fashion I'm really trying to get everything flowing and glowing again so I did a really good job on that and I cannot wait to do videos on that and sometime in May or June so that's gonna be a really good topic also in May or June I am excited on that topic um, with the feet so yeah but that's kind of what I was doing with the fruit feast um, I feel like everything became a lot better um like I said, I didn't lose no weight. I didn't gain any weight. I did have a little more muscular development. Um, I have a little more, a lot more, especially my back and I think my calves and I think maybe my arms got a little more defined and everything. So I didn't lose weight, but I think I got some more muscular development, you know, which is good. But not only that, I feel like I'm, I'm more fluid in movement. I can move, I can fly, I can just, I just recovered so well. I've always recovered pretty good, but I'm just so much better with that. So. My fruit feast was a success. Um, we're gonna do our own version of we don't call it fruit feast. So we just life of rip, but it's it's it, it's a plan where everybody else could easily assimilate. I don't care if you're eating water burgers six days a week, you can easily assimilate into this 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 lifestyle that I love to do. I don't care what you eat, but you can easily assimilate it once you incorporate the movement. You know the little. It could be like five to ten to fifteen minutes with the meditation a day, some self massage, some some fashion work, some getting out and doing your breath work, getting in the sun. As long as you're just incorporating five to ten to fifteen minutes, it could be it could be twenty minutes three times a day doing something. And I guarantee after six months, you're gonna have another some great results. Um, yes, I move my hands a lot because hands is movement, it's energy. It's a lot of it's a lot of energy uh, energetic components in our hands. As most of you know. Our feet and hands and our face are the most electrical conduit parts of our body. You know, although I guess we could say the fascia is, but for the most, yeah, for the most part. Um, so that's what we do. I don't want to keep talking. I'm gonna go back back to the fruit feeds, but I want to let Alessandra talk a little bit. Um, because we, like I said, we just this is our first video we're doing together, and once again, I kind of forgot she was here because I just be talking all the time. So I got to forgive me because she's the star of the show. You know, she got all the good cooking and all the information. Talking about the babies and stuff like that. Yeah, I can know how to. Oh, we're talking about the um with the massage. We're also gonna um with the massage. We're talking about. It. We're also gonna show you some techniques that can help really calm, keep the mother calm. But that the father can easily do. Even when he's playing his video games, he can literally just put his feet on specific areas while she's breastfeeding, and she feels so much heat coming down and so much relaxation, and so much cooling the head. Um. Like last time when I woke up Alessandra, what I doing like when I just do it, it could be the neck, but not much with the neck massage, but especially with the facial massage and especially like working specific parts up here, the milk just get gushing out. I mean, it's just crazy. So it's a lot of stuff that I wanna I wanna do with that because think about it, the women are like this, like hold the baby. We don't want that, you know. We want the posture, you know. We want that good strong posture, you know. So we're gonna talk a lot about that. And trust me, I see a lot of pregnant women. Um, and I work, not pregnant women, but women who just gave birth, stuff like that, and we do a lot of great results. They're like really, really surprised. Come on, son. Come on. So I'm going to let, I think I'm going to let Alessandra talk. As soon as my son come up here, I'll go get him. You talk, okay? Mm. No, never mind. Hold on. Come on, son. He's on my seat. Okay. All right, so I'm waiting mm -hmm. on my son. He's over crawling up here. He's crawling. He likes to walk. He likes to crawl a lot. So I like my son. He's crawling. He's like he's crawling all fours. So I like when come up the stairs. He don't try to walk. He, he use all four of his hands and everything. So that's what we're going to do. So my son is back as he was over there. Well, I don't know if we cut that part out. I don't think we cut that part out. But we'll see. So, all right. So before we let Alessandra um get to doing her, actually, she's going to feed my son. But anyway, after... um. Before we let her talk, I'm going to talk about. I want to go back to my fruit feast. Um, yeah, um, now dealing with the cooked foods, I really wasn't craving cooked foods that much. And there were some things, you know, like because Alessandra, although I was doing like the high watery fruits for the most part, she was still doing her fruit feast, her style of fruits for the most part. Um, um, you know, but yeah, she did make some like some 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 some, some type of soft stuff for, like tomato and bell pepper sauce with cucumbers. She did a lot of botanical fruits for the most part, and I wasn't mm, I won't eat some of that stuff, you know. And then I'm not gonna lie, the, the food she was making for the kids, you know, that, that good old soccer or whatever she was making, hey, it's smelling real good, man. So I was like, mm, I want to eat that, want to eat that, want to eat that, want to eat that. 
But once again, after every food feast, like I always do, man, because a lot of times you always see, a lot of people always say, like, after they get done eating the, the fruit feast, um, they go back to eating, like, any type of greens or cooked foods or anything like that. They have a lot of issues, correct? That's what we heard a lot of people saying. And they had, like, because like, a lot of times it really backfires on people. Every time I do it, I don't have no issues. But one thing I like to do on my fruit feast, if I'm going to do any type of things like that, why do I'm, like, I'm not putting as much dense food and chewing as much into my digestive system I always want to make sure I'm doing specific things that's going to um, increase the voltage of my body I want to keep decreasing not only decreasing the resistance but increase the voltage you know the internal voltage in my body and I also want to be able to um, not, um, um, not only increase the currency that's like the blood flow but I also want to strengthen those weak areas and reduce the fascia restrictions See, a lot of times when we do these type of things, we may, you know, give our, our system a break, but we still have to build it up. And a lot of people I was talking about, they, they like to build through food, which is okay. That's, I, I don't know, I guess maybe I'm just difficult. I love to move and exercise. My style is, I love to build through movements. I love, because I know one thing, if the muscles is weak, no matter what you do, the issue will always come back as soon as you put it in that environment again. But my goal is always, boy, what are you doing? And boy, 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 cry, baby. Oh, I tell you what. But yeah, so that's kind of like what we want to do. We want to just continue to, um, you know, get stronger internally. That's why I'm really big on the internal type of exercise. I don't do like a lot of the external exercise, like loads of deadlifts and pushes and squats. So I'll probably run around like Hulk Hogan if I did all that stuff. But um, <laughs> that's not. So I love to do the internal stuff. Cause I love to keep my internal. Uh, environment strong, you know, because when the voltage is down, the bugs come out. When the voltage is up, the bugs go in. So it's all about increasing that voltage, y'all. Increasing that voltage. And I feel when I do my fruit feeds, that's when I increase my voltage the most. Because now I know I can address specific issues, you know. I can address specific It's kind of like, you know how like when people talk about healing crisis or, or detox symptoms and all that stuff? That people get like through, through eating a certain way. Well, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. A lot of times I get mine through movement. Like I can go like uh, work on myself one day and, and do specific things, and then the next day I try to go do specific movements, I be in pain. I'm like, ah, oh, did I hurt myself? I keep forgetting. It's more of a, a cleansing reaction from a healing reaction, a Thomas reaction. My nerves are starting to fire up, so I calm down that movement. And then I go back the very next day. So okay, let me see if I can do it again. And I attempt to do it again, and guess what? I'm able to do it so much easier, so much fluidness. So I love, that's why I'm a big fan of movement. I'm a big fan of fashion mobilization. I'm a big fan of treating the body as one. Now I do like to isolate sometime to integrate. What I mean by isolate to integrate, that's how I might be, I can be down on my side, you see this, okay. So but that's it, I'm just for example, okay. So by doing that, okay, we're working my shoulders. Okay, working my shoulders. Then I'm like, okay, that's the isolation. Then I might, you know, get in the pike position, hold my hands like that. I can hold that, da, 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 da. And then we're trying to, we're working the whole time fashion network from the, the fingers all the way up to the shoulder. We're trying to isolate to integrate everything. So I want to get all the energy flowing naturally instead of just like, you know, being a machine. I want to treat the body as one because I'm fluid. I like to move in, move out, and do a lot of things. Because if I can move great, I can think great. If I can think great, I can move great. It's like the, um, it's like, you know, like waves or the pendulum. You just keep getting stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. But if you put something in between that pendulum, the rhythm gets off and everything starts to slow down. The next thing you know, it's something that's holding both of the pendulums together. The pendulum can't move. So I like to be fluid and fluid and just keep going. It's kind of like a, like a kid or a teenager. Remember the teenagers and the people in their young 20s, nothing ever bothers them. They can do whatever they want and nothing bothers them. But the older folks like us, we try to tell them, you, that's why you got to take care of your body, take care of your vessel. And you continue to get better and better and better. That's why I'm loving being 40 because I feel like I'm really, really thriving. I, I, I'm feeling really good and I feel like we're going to be doing some, some great, great things um, and things of that nature. So, yeah, so that's kind of what, like, oh, yeah, and with the, like I'm saying, like, I really wasn't craving um, cooked foods that much. Um, I could have kept going, which we're going to, we're going to, um, Alexander, she's going to pick up a whole lot more again. I'm going to pick up a whole lot more. Lorenzo, he's going to pick up a whole lot more. My boys, they don't even like cooked food that much. Like, we'll make, like, okay, you know, because we don't, we don't try to force our kids to eat a specific way. Oh, you're going to eat that food, that's it. No, no, no. 
Whatever you want to eat, you're gonna eat. You know, that's where they get them. But they, they, they'll look at that and they can be like some stuff they can be begging for the whole time. Like he might eat it, but Ripley, he'd be like, um, he take a few bites. Mm, I won't, I won't, I won't melon. I want coconut. You know, I'm like, my son is a pure fruit eater. Now, Lorenzo, that boy is a, a pure fruit eater. We're going to, I told you, I got some topics on Lorenzo that he's going to be talking to y'all about and you know, how he's overcame some things. So, yeah, so like I'm saying, everything, it's, it's been going pretty good. Um, We've been at home almost three to four months now. We live down the country. We're still getting everything put together. Um, the juniper trees, we got hundreds of juniper trees out here. We got some of my trees. We got the juniper berries starting to grow. I'm probably gonna do a video on that with the juniper berries starting to grow again, so y'all can see that. Um, the cactus is starting to rise. The North Pole cactus. We got another type of um, cactus that produces berries. Is it like the strawberries? No. Like, so it's not like the strawberry that it produces. That, that. No, not really. Okay. So we got that growing. We got the agarita. That's a good tart, sweet berry. Those are growing. And oh man, we, the agarita and the roots. We're gonna be. I'm gonna be. I'm actually gonna sell that, and that is so powerful. And guess what? I have loads that for y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm trying to work on my my uh, my advertising skills. Am I getting good at it? Let me know. But yeah, we got the auger reader that's gonna be for sale. And oops, I'm sorry, it's gonna help a lot of people. So um, we got a lot of stuff growing out here. We got some um, the purple vervain, vervainia. Um, we got a lot of um, um, arnica, dandelions, um, we got like new berry, plantain, like oh, what's what, um, green bar, green bar, green mm -hmm. bar. We got some berries on that too, you know. So everything is everything is going pretty good. Um, we are really, really, really enjoying this. Um, it's a new adventure for us. We're still learning. We still want to build an empire um, internally, externally, things of that nature, you know. But we want to continue to be able to. Do some great service not only for ourselves but for everybody out there because I don't like seeing people thrive. I mean, struggling. I want to see y'all thrive. I want to see everybody thriving. So, like I was saying, so everything was uh was was going pretty 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 good. Um, we got a lot of good plans. Um, Alessandra she wants to do a lot of talking on helping people with the um you know like with consultation and stuff like that. I don't want to do consultations, but she's a lot better doing the consultation than me. So. So, like, when we start doing the consultations, I, I wouldn't um, say better. I think I think we work good as a team with the consultations. No, nah, I, don't, I, don't, I don't do all that BS. <laughs> she's better than me. Look, she's better than me. I ain't going to even lie. She's trying to sound all nice for the camera. That's not what I do, you know. So, but yeah, so I don't know. I think, I mean, I, I can talk. I'm good at talking because I know a lot of things that she don't know. And she know a lot of things that I don't know or way more. But she, she she's a better at talker. You know, I can do the hands-on stuff. I guess I typically could talk because I've been doing it for so long and I always helping people free and stuff like that. But she's going to be, you know, talking a lot more about those in these videos. That could, oh, at least because I finally did it. Wrote all my video topics on it if you want to talk about it, things you want to do. So it's going to be pretty darn good. I'm actually thinking about doing another fruit feast in May, y'all. I'm thinking about doing one in May. If things go right, I might be doing I might be doing another one in May because really I'm waiting on the watermelons to come back. When the watermelons come back, do y'all know how much money I'm gonna save? Me just eating watermelons and mangoes? I don't have to eat that much. And then I can just do a I do my agarita um the agarita um root because I got so much of it. Oh bro, I'm a, I'm gonna simmer that stuff and the berries will be good right then as oh, well. Oh, yeah, the berries. Oh, so, like, when the berries come out, I'm not going to worry about the um the roots and, and making the tea out of it. I'm just going to be eating all the berries. But after the berries go, that'd be like that, that right there. That and um, the cactus, like, after the, um, I'm going to wait till all the prickly pears come. When the prickly pears come, I start cutting down cactus because the cactus go back so fast. I start cutting the cactus down again. And I just be eating the cactus, pow, taking off the thorns and all this, just eating the cactus pad like that. And, and eating the agarita. Man, y'all talking about, I'm going to be talking about some hot electrical beans. You talking about man? My, I'm going to be so hydrated because y'all know I don't even really drink water that much anyway. I'm not really a water drinker, but watch the hydration that you're going to see. Skin going to be, whoo! Y'all going to be like, is that Jesus in the making? That boy shining, you know. So that's going to be me. So I'm very excited. Um, also, well, I guess while I'm here, I, I know she's supposed to be talking, but she, I guess y'all don't know. I guess is that the, is that the, is that that male thing being dominant? I don't know. Anyway, but, he's just a show stealer. Yeah, but anyway, so. We're gonna be doing a lot of good stuff. Um, 
Yeah, a lot of good stuff. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm really excited about this. So that what we what we got to offer, you know. So we're gonna see how it is it's, it's, it's truly gonna go. Um, like I was saying with the consultations, um, we're gonna be starting doing consultations to help people because I do have a not through YouTube because I don't make a lot of videos on YouTube. Like a lot of people are through my Facebook page, things of that nature. Um, I, I'm waiting on loads of consultations, but it's just that I'm always so busy in the books, reading, and studying, and going to work and I'm attempting to be a better husband and father because it's like all I do is read and study. And I feel like I've been neglecting them sometimes. I'm, I'm learning how to put... As I did do a good job putting the books down this month. I've been watching movies with the kids and everything. Watching movies with my wife. Although she don't like this one show I'll be watching. Quite time ago. I don't want some FBI show. She don't like it because they can't act. They only got good looking women on there and stuff like that. And stuff like that. So that's only why the show was so good. But but I think she's starting to watch so now because she's figured out after... <laughs> 16, 17 episodes are so starting to get good. So I'm patient. She's not patient movies like that. I'm patient. But she like the more boring movies. You know, like them, the more boring actors. And, you know, like, you know, you know, the, you know, all them, them UK people. He goes know. everything that's yeah. not American boring. Yeah, yeah, yeah stuff is boring, <laughs> man. No, no bunch of movies. Y'all don't get mad at me now, but I ain't watching no boring stuff, man. I like, I like the good stuff, you know. So I watch like Supernatural with Sam and Dean. Mm-hmm. And stuff like that. That's our greatest show of all time. We'll be watching it all the time. But we're waiting for the season to end because we're going to binge them out of that. We're going to like watch 22, 23 episodes a night. I went, when I had like a Saturday, a Sunday, and a Monday, y'all, we're going to spend all day and a half Saturday, Sunday, and Monday and just, just watch Supernatural. And that's what we're going to do and spend time together. I told you, I'm getting better at this stuff, you know. So, at this husband stuff, you know. So, and the parents stuff, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. I'm just being me. But anyway, so. <sighs> it's difficult for me to just be all serious. I don't see how people be doing this videos. It's not always serious. It's just not who I am. I just like to have fun and just talk and do that. You know, I guess you can see so I got so much energy. Hey, it's the, the fruits, you know. But really, it's not even the fruits. It's just keeping the body at a high voltage state. You can eat any way you want to eat. I don't care. You got. You probably can eat raw meat. If you want to eat raw meat, but I, I'm not. I'm not eating no raw meat. That's not what I do. You know, I'm not, you know, and I do see a lot of road kill, you know, because I, it's like every time I come on, I see like, I get, I, I live in the country, you all see like a lot of people hitting deer and stuff. But, you know, I'm like, you want to eat, go eat that, you know, but if you're going to eat that raw meat, you better chew it about 100 million times before you swallow it, you know, and you better see, you better, we keep working on these right here, you know, these masseters and the lab masseters and the, um, lateral and the medial pitchers and the insert the 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 for the, um, temporalis right back there and another um origin is up here you have the masseters um the masseters the masseters the size those and i gave you all those four muscles because those are the four muscles you can study for the um tmj or tmd what they call it temporal mental disorder for the most part and those four muscles are very crucial you're also going to work like c2 c3 you know take your time working all those things right there and then you have some nerves right there some acupressure course you can kind of work right hey, acupressure you can like do a lot of knee, a lot of friction, stuff like that. Same thing right here, the mental foreman. These were the um the trigeminal nerves and stretches to bang bang, and then one up here. That's really good for those with chronic headaches and migraines all the time. I'm gonna do a video on that topic too. But remember the mental foreman's and right here and things of that nature. So that's also gonna be good for you. Um so and it, it, that really helps a lot too. So I know I'm always talking about the massage stuff. But I'm just kind of, I guess, almost running along. It's been like I've been going for almost 30 minutes now. I'm sorry, y'all, but I just be talking. I know I might have a few people that watch this, to watch the whole thing. I expect a few people to come up after five, the first five to ten minutes. But who knows? Maybe me. People might watch and just keep watching, you know, because hey, they just like to hear me ramble along. People like to keep me ramble along, things of that nature. So. So I get oh my son asleep. So how you, you got him to sleep pretty good. Mm-hmm. So is there anything you would like to say or how do you how do you think um what how do you think I did on my fruit feast? You did good. You did really good. I think I think it was a lot easier because I was eating kind of doing my own version of a fruit feast. Also, I think if I'd been eating the cooked food too, I think it would have been a bit more challenging for you. Um, but yeah, I think you did really good. And um, I mean, I was making some nice dishes for myself you know I was doing the like the raw noodles made from the um no I wasn't really doing noodles it was it was like um cucumber cucumber yeah I was cutting up the cucumber and I'll be doing like I was doing like tomato sauce you see my fruit piece was better because I got the better memory <laughs> see that 
Like he just gets more sleep because he doesn't have the babies. I ain't got nothing to do with sleep. <laughs> the hippocampus. <laughs> the hippocampus. You got intrinsic and extrinsic sound learns. Mm -hmm. You got the unconscious and the conscious. And we want to talk more about that. Because I just read a great book called The Learning Brain. And I'm on my second or third time listening to it right now. Audible going to work. And I learned so much from that book. So do you feel um, my mental capacity got better during the fruit feast? Or do you feel my emotional pattern got better or worse? Or what about my physical magnetism? Do you feel like they got better or worse? Yeah, I think I think, I think you were definitely your emotions, I think, were much better during the fruit feast. And I definitely saw your physical um, body changing. You know, you I think you were shi more shiny. You more were, shiny, <laughs> bling, bling, look at that You were getting more cut up. But you, but you weren't really losing size either. You know, you were staying, you were staying no. big but more defined at the same time. Why? Because as the waist was coming out and it was giving my body a chance to move more because I could move because I didn't have the stagnation going on, I was always attempting to contract those weak muscles. You know, I was always, I don't care, it could be, a, it could be my pinky. Waist moving out, what I'm going to do? You see this right here? Okay, let's statically build it up. You see that? When waist move out, you don't just... When waist move out, you don't just be like, okay, we're going to just let this get on its own. No, 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 no. The body needs to move. When the baby gets strong, what does the baby do? The baby goes out and move. The baby's always crawling on all fours and, and doing all different types of things. And they're slowly building. That's why babies build so much and so fast because they don't have the stagnation that us old folks get. You know, I'm 40, I'm in the 40-year-old club, you know, 48, you're trying to, oh, I got to, no, 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 no. You have to continue to move. You know, you have to continue to move, you know. So that's why I say you can eat a billion different ways. It doesn't matter. Continue to move, and I promise you, you're going to get better, you know. Even if it's just you and your wife or you and your mate or whoever, if you work on each other almost every day, five days a week, if you don't want to go to the gym, forget the gym. You can sit here and do this all day long. You see this? Oh, man, you did like a 1,000 of those. You see what I'm saying? 500 of those a day. Something's going to happen, you know. Just you just working your whole entire body out and then go massage each other. Just work on it. It's it, it just a simple effort lab because simple effort lab, so all we're doing is moving the venous circulation, moving the venous circulation so I get the lymphatic flow. But that's all we're doing. And by doing that, you can do like some of the abdominal pumps. Inhale, exhale, you know, on each other. You know, you keep them like five minutes straight. And that's going to help flush stuff out. And then by doing it, you're going to be feeling lighter and lighter and lighter. And after about, about two, three weeks, you're going to be like, wow, I feel great. But then guess what? Then you're going to go out and be like, I haven't tried to do this in I don't know how long. How am I able to do this? How am I getting up so easy? Then the strength is starting to get better and better and better. Then you get to the point where you don't have to work, like working each other no more. Guess what? Then all of a sudden, you're doing all types of crazy things that you did 15, 20 years ago. It's really that simple. It's all about just continue putting in simple, continuous information. You don't even have to do all the, you know, like all the, the podiment, all the, the knee, you know, the deep tissue stuff. You don't have to all this, do some trigger point work. You don't have to really do all that stuff um, Fashion, the fashion work, you see, the, like the fashion work, you know, the fact the second and third thing, the fashion work, and that really breaks all the, you know, the, the deeper, the deeper fashion. You don't really have to do all this, and you can start off with something as simple as, you know, just, and just imagine you do that for like 15 minutes straight every day, every day, or 10 minutes straight, two to three times a day. Eventually, you're going to have so much venous circulation going, and when you improve your venous circulation, it's kind of like you're going and doing the, come on, it's kind of like you're doing the venous circulation. Come on. Because once it's been so great, it's kind of like you, with the ISO, you know, you feel so relaxed. That's what the effort does. And then you do that, and you go out, and you move a little bit more. You don't have to just go out, and go to the gym, and destroy yourself like that. You just, just move a little bit, and you're going to continue to get stronger and things of that nature. So, it's kind of like, like when I do like some simple massage techniques on you, how do you feel afterwards? How 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 is your movements, and do you feel like, like everything's more activated? Huh? Oh, oh, sorry, I was busy watching Ripplin. <laughs> Come on, Ripplin. You've been panning dirt and mud and stuff uh -huh. like that. you covered in mud. So, like, for example, we're talking about the massage. So, let's just say, like, what I, I did effilage on your back. I did effilage, like, 100 effilage. It was, like, more between effilage and mm -hmm. friction. Effilage and um, fashion work, and then effilage and I did some um, friction. Mommy. So, how did you feel, like, the little Mommy. 10, 15 minutes? Come on. I'm a Spider-Man. You're Spider-Man. You Batman, you Spider-Man today. Are you Batman? Yeah. Are you Spider Man? Yeah. Are you Black Panther? Oh, look, it fell. <laughs> it fell, 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 it fell,
Yeah, that's my boy. So, <laughs> so yeah. So like, like, how do you feel? How, how do you feel? Like sometimes, like when I'm talking about the F a lot, mm-hmm. you know, just incre- increasing blood circulation. Do you feel a lot more rested just just right after we get finished? Yeah, yeah and and. Right, and a lot more energized sometimes as well, you know, like I, I might I might have been feeling like I was lacking in energy and then you work on me and I have a whole bunch more energy. You want to come up here too? Oh, okay. Lorenzo don't want to come up here. <laughs> See, he ain't got no shirt on. He don't want to show off his muscles, you know. He's been getting, he been getting <laughs> muscles, you know. That boy been getting muscles, you know. He's been getting out in the sun. Because, you know, that, that good old sun, you know, we get that get, that get morning sun, you know. They get infrared sun. It's going to really, really relax everything. Get the blood vessels prepared. Get it open everything. Good old type two UVB son, it really fires that, but you gotta build up to it. You can't handle it, son, and that's what he had to learn how to do. Now, oh man, the boy gonna be the boy gonna be real strong. The boy gonna be strong like his mama, you know. So, so it's, some, it's, it's some real good stuff. So we got some good stuff coming for you. Um, we're gonna talk a lot more on some some good videos and and stuff like that. So, like, what type of videos um do you have coming up for? Let's say your next meal we're going to prepare like what's the video you want to do a video on i think one of our next meals is going to be a pesto macaroni pesto macaroni mm. you hear that so i guess basically i have to go to the store and get the pine nuts right yeah pine nuts and stuff like that all the other ingredients that we're going to put together and things of that nature so that's going to be a good video too with the pesto macaroni so i'm going to be really excited you want melons or you want macaroni melons you want macaroni <laughs> yeah i want macaroni you just want melon, but you don't want no cooked food, or you want fruit. fruit. You see? <laughs> see, it's what I'm to see. See, I hey. the, the crate. I, 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 I can't make this up. We we thought he wanted cooked food. We thought he wanted cooked food. We thought he wanted cooked food. He kept looking food. at all the cooked food. Yeah. I'm thinking he wanted the cooked food. Yeah. But my when my it family goes, like my family like um. Oh, go ahead. We he was he was always staring at all the cooked food, and we thought that that's all he wanted to eat, and we were we were thinking we it would be better to keep him raw. So we started letting him have the cooked food, and he doesn't really want it. He, he, we thought he was going to be eating and eating and eating it, and that maybe he wouldn't want to eat fruit anymore, and that's just not the case at all. That boy got dirt all in his hair. Come on back over here, boy. I'll <laughs> give you a two-piece. Yeah, yeah, you know, my family. Get that boy some cooked food. They want some cooked <laughs> food. Okay. We don't want you no cooked food now. Now what? Okay, now what? But, you know, you know, you know how that goes, family. You know, they, they all think they're no best, but... Yeah, man. So this this is this this is good. You're gonna have some some good videos coming. Um, this is our first video together. She didn't talk much, um, but that's okay because you know the baby's here and all that stuff. No telling what they be trying to do. Uh, so what are you trying what are you to do? Doing? Are you trying to do your handstands? Push <laughs> up, damn up. Yeah. So you know, she she's gonna, we're gonna be doing a lot more videos together. Especially we're gonna be out in public in town together. Just. We got a lot of good stuff. Um, we got a lot of good plans. We really want to help a lot of y'all out. Um, my exercise videos, I'm probably going to start that in May. I think in May, so I don't know. Daddy, that May, yes? You can put it here, Daddy. Huh? And I will back. Yeah, everything's in there. You want to exercise with this? Yeah. These are good old, see, y'all these good old resistance bands. Hey, I don't use them that much, but hey, it's so much you can do. I like to do. I like my resistance bands. I can do a lot of um, a lot of rowing and pulling and, and, and sprints with them. You know, put these bands on and you know I'm doing all types of sprints, with them and jumping and stuff like that. I'm more of an explosive type, but I don't like the you know I don't like the you know try to you know bench a billion pounds, which which is great, hey, because hey man, everybody loves to go over and lift a lot of weight, you know. So especially when you a good old slim guy, get some men like that slim. I don't know what I am. Anyway, but yeah, so yeah, but everybody like guy who can lift weights, but I like to, I like to move, I like to be fluid, I like to be able to move as one, and I like to, you know how like some people take like 20, 30 minutes to warm up. I don't have time for warm up. I better breathe. I'm coming. Let's go. I'm warmed up. Let's flow with it. So, yeah, everything is gonna be pretty good. Uh, we're doing pretty good. Um, we're gonna be at Lake Medina a lot this um summertime, the springtime. You know, they get ready to open up. They're gonna be swimming a whole bunch more. So. It's gonna be some good stuff. Um, it's gonna be some really, really, really intriguing stuff, you know. So, and I guess what can I say? What is going on for this month of April? I guess this month of April, I forgot what I was. I was supposed to be doing something different. I don't remember what I was doing. The videos? No. Did I say anything with the videos? Well, I thought you were gonna start the massage videos. 
Oh yeah, yeah. I told you we're doing that next week. Mm-hmm. By ten twelve days. Hopefully by like next Friday. Oh. I, oh well, no, because we supposed to have go to this um this little community thing for like the cause they don't have like Easter egg hunt. No, we're not hunting no eggs. <laughs> I haven't met nobody in the community, so I'm going out there to enjoy my time with the community because they don't know me. I don't know them, so I'm going to go have fun. They're going to hunt some Easter eggs. I might not eat eggs. We might not eat stuff in our family. And no, I'm not promoting no, what they call it, the veganism. I'm not, I, I'm not going to promote all that stuff. It's not what I do, you know, because they want, if they want to know, which I know because everybody who ever come across are always curious of my style of eating. It's been like that my whole entire life, even when I ate fish and beans. People have always been curious about my style of eating, so we're gonna enjoy that time with them and things of that nature. So hopefully around that time, maybe that maybe that Monday, yeah. not next Monday. Yeah, yeah, I get it. actually actually next Monday, but sometime around that we might I might do my my first uh, massage. Ooh, my my, my first massage, my, my first um uh, massage video when we talking about that like the upper back and neck and things like that and things of that nature. So. Just so we can kind of teach people. So, yeah. any of y'all got any type of questions, yeah. just ask. Um, is there anything you would like to say before the video ends? I don't think so. So, you know, she was going to talk, but the baby got to start breastfeeding. And she almost, I guess she almost, like, pretty much almost, I don't know if I want to say lost her train of thought, but I don't know. But, but the baby, not babies, go. They would ah, do all types of crazy stuff. So, so yeah, so baby knocked out. Um, I guess we're probably about to get ready to go, get ready for watch some TV. I want all this time when I watch some TV, so I'm about to go watch some TV and enjoy some time, so. Oh my goodness, my son just coughed. He never coughs. Oh my goodness. I freak out, y'all. Like, when they, if they even, like, have some type of cough, because I'm not used to nobody in my house having issues or anything like that. Like, like I think Lorenzo, maybe once or twice. Mella, maybe once or twice. Ripper, maybe twice. Him, maybe once. I'm just not used to it, you know. So whenever something happens, okay. Here's some oranges. You want some cooked food? No, I'm a bunny. You want some oranges or you want some pizza? Oh. See? I can't pay this boy to eat no cooked food. But you know what? That's good. That's good. That's good. I'm I'm proud because that boy gonna be high voltage, high electrical. You know, and luckily, I'm his daddy and I can always work on him. 24-7. You know, he come back from he might be playing some football, so I'm like, okay, son, come on land down. We're gonna just do some um some some light some light amplifiers on you know that's it we're gonna you know just get the blood flow going the trigger points not the trigger point but the periosteum is basically like working around the bone which is very 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 important you do actually for like so a, a point that I'm gonna give y'all a little tip for those who's always um you know grabbing me working with the hands you see this the flexors see that right there actually most of a lot of them come right here. These come a lot of these come right here. Just like right there. Bang. And then certain to right here. So really you can just just even just like five minutes a day. Just touch, trust me. You'll feel it. You'll feel it. You'll come right here. Even like so you're working right here. That's like the on the nerve, the on the nerve entrapment that you can work on. But you just take your time and work on this tendon three to four to five minutes a day and you notice you start to get lighter and stronger. You see how you can see my veins trying to pop out right there. But then you come up right here. Okay. Oh, that's called that probator terrace. What they call it? The carpal tunnel symptoms? Carpal tunnel. So you got the carpal tunnel, the probator terrace. When the probator terrace is constricted, it puts pressure on that meridian nerves. You know, so a lot of times we come right here. We were talking about anterior scanning. So I gave you all the anterior scanning, pectoralis minor. This is the one of the main ones right here. And while you come right here, look at the pronator terrace. Look at the trigger point for it, and you'll probably, some of y'all could. Um, um, do a trigger point on it and you feel it going down and that's exactly what you'll feel. You can feel right here where the impectoralis minor insert right here. You'll be like, oh, yes. Everything is all the way starting to go down. You know, same thing right there going to like frozen shoulder issue. You know, you might have something, uh, a lot of pain to go into the shoulder issue, you know, so then you can probably feel it right here. You do like a little symptom, you know. Then you can take right there. Look at the interior scalings. Even just like some little simple friction, you know, 50 of them, 50 of them, you know, going up and down and then coming. Like, you don't have to dig in deep. You don't have to dig in deep just so you can feel it because repetitions is what's going to cause the great work, you know, even like doing some fast strokes. I'm just giving y'all a little short, simple tips, but those things are really, really, really going to help you. You're going to do a lot of videos. So any type of any questions you want to ask me, put in the box. I'm here to answer. Um... 
Oh yeah, y'all take a look at our website. Get you a life of rib shirt. You know, get you a life of rib shirt. Trust me, this shirt was made with energy. I might not made it physically, the company might made it, but it's my thought, my magnetic thought, our magnetic thoughts. That's gonna put some energy into this shirt. So, but anyway, y'all. So I'm about to get ready to go go finish a day and. Oh my goodness, we've been talking for this long. <laughs> Almost 35 minutes, y'all. So, anyway, so y'all take care. Have a good day. We out. And I will see you next time. That's that dope man, I mean, dope man, I mean, dope. That's that dope man, I mean, dope man.